Snubbing the G20, President Putin left early, saying he needed to catch up on sleep, perhaps tired of being told how to behave over the Ukraine crisis. President Putin can see that he is at a crossroads. If he continues to destabilize Ukraine, there'll be further sanctions, further measures, and there will be a completely different relationship between European countries and America on the one hand and uh, Russia on the other. If he continues down the path that he is on, violating international law, providing heavy arms to uh, the separatists in Ukraine, violating an agreement that he agreed to just uh, a few weeks ago, the isolation that Russia is currently experiencing will continue. Before leaving Australia, the Russian president gave his interpretation of talks with other leaders. Today, the situation in Ukraine, in my view, has good chances for resolution, no matter how strange it may sound. The sanctions hurt both those who they are imposed on and those who impose them. The leaders signed up to plans to boost economic growth by 2% over five years and promised to crack down on corporate tax avoidance. But as Brisbane sweated in a heat wave, climate change became an issue, despite Prime Minister Abbott wanting it off the agenda. And so the G20 has drawn to a close here in Brisbane. The Australian Prime Minister insists it wasn't simply a talking shop, but will make a real difference, despite being overshadowed by one man and one topic. This was perhaps the only moment of fun for Mr Putin during a tense weekend. Not that the summit will cause him to lose any sleep as he snoozes his way back to Moscow. Jonathan Sanders, Sky News, Brisbane.